Hey guys, Jayagoni po, Keepsakes. I have a lot of things to discuss on this notepad and I'll be sharing these things to you. Pero bago mo na yan, I'd like you to subscribe to this channel for more content. We'll be having our Flashback Fridays starting this September. That will be until the rest of the year. So, hanggang matapos ang taong ito, puro mga throwback, throwback tayo, no? And yes, uh, there's a lot of stuff that I've still much very much willing to share so do do subscribe to the channel and do hit that notification bell para hindi kayo makalimot sa latest updates natin kahit na yes nag-upload ako ng mga videos every friday noon uh, hindi pa rin maiwasan na parang maybe i want to play some tetris i want to share tetris videos mga highlights and all that of course uh, the, the, those videos beyond the schedule. And of course, I'm still in the process of uploading the rest of the podcast up to the latest episode, which will be coming out this September. At the end of this video, I'll be sharing the latest episodes for the month of September. And I hope you stick with us until the end of this video. So, uh, na muna yung mga online events. I have here on the list FanFest Online, Comic Weekend, and yes, the never-ending walang kamatayang VTuber recap na puro Hololive lang yung balita dito because nakatutok lang sa Hololive. But yeah, I, I, I do still have uh, news coming from other groups ano, or other personalities. So yeah, let's start with FanFest Online. This happened just last July and I'm lucky to be part of the Freedom Hall in which they're, they've invited uh, everyone to join this Zoom meeting. And nakasalo ko yung mga hosts and the like. And yeah, we were very happy with that. And, and at the end of the Freedom Hall, hindi lang nabanggit to sa video, hindi lang to na uh, pinalabas sa, fa sa Facebook Live. No? We had anime music. So, syempre, eh, sino ba naman ako para hindi gumiling sa Ani Song, Ani Kura, or what not. Syempre, get Taiga all the way. So, the rest of the event is more on the usual activities that Cosplay.page has. And there's still the interactive part of the, uh, the Cosplay.page experience, the Cosplay main experience. Pero this time, of course, digital, limited ang time, limited ang resources. Pero they, they were able to pull it, up, pull it off naman. And you know, the Cosplay.ph network has lots more in store uh, with, uh, no, they, they, they still have something in their sleeves. So you, you would like to subscribe to their channel then. So do subscribe to their channel as well. May marami sila mga bagay na sinishare na minsan napapaisip ako. Maybe, yes, that's, that's something, that's something. So, yeah, do subscribe to their channel, CPN. Alright, next on the list, Comic Weekend. Uh, Comic Weekend is a virtual event na pinuntahan ko online. It took me a while to get in. Uh, not because it's uh, it's Japan or it needs distance or it needs any any plane ticket or whatnot. Because again, it's virtual. Comic Weekend uses three platforms, VR Chat. Cluster and Styly. I tried visiting Styly, pero I don't know if it's my internet or talagang sadyang mabagal mag-load ang Styly sa web browser. So, I tried VRChat, but unfortunately, VRChat is only available on Steam, even though uh, even though there's a desktop version, I don't need VR headsets. I don't want to go into these complicated things. So I resorted to uh, the last platform that uh, is available, Cluster. Although, hindi ako makakapagbili ng mga uh, digital downloads using the Cluster application, pero it serves the point. I was able to visit naman the virtual Akihabara, the virtual uh, music VCAT and they really have some sweet spots especially dun sa ano nila, independent uh, music nila. Now, music VCAT is something. Music VCAT is has a trove of independent music, independent from any labels. Tapos, di ba, pagpunta nyo sa ground floor, you're, you're going to go up to the actual music VCAT at the second floor. And then, there's at the topmost, the sponsors. So, yeah, really nice. 
And hindi biro yung mga setup ng mga sponsors nila. It's virtual, it's fantastic, it's amazing. Uh, natutuwa ako and really happy I visited this once. Although, I do need more time to scroll through or listen to all the music and all the independent comics, dojin, drawings, illustrations, and all that. It will take me a whole day to visit Comic Weekend and another half day to listen to the songs at the Music Weekend. Music Weekend has five zones, five uh, that responds to M U S I C. So, yeah, they, at these five zones, you can expect five sponsor boots at the topmost. You need to do, you need, you do need to climb up to the second floor for that. Pero it will be worth it. Pag nagpa photoshoot kayo, Cluster has this. Uh, photoshoot function uh, in which you bring your uh, with you a virtual camera and then you tweet uh, the the outputs on Twitter and it's amazing it's amazing really mind you so that's comic weekend and although tapos na sila as of this moment uh, you can still check out my story on the blog so please to expect that within the coming days all right on the next segment I'll tell you a story of how we went through all of things kung bakit ba nabuo itong keepsakes ano? it's almost 5 years since this website called the Deremoe Project ended up uh, suspending its operations stop operations, wala talaga as in uh, 2015 after an incident wala na, tapos na, finish na and as we speak, you're looking at the frontliner ng Deremo, eh, the editor-in-chief, the editor, perhaps editor-at-large, or kung ano man title ang ipasok ko sa sarili ko. You know, it's been five years and I'm still looking for closure. Mantakin ninyo. Deremo, eh, closed in 2015, stop operations. It, it took me a few days to call the shots. Ako mismo yung tumawag ng shots after this change.org petition was made you can still see that and uh, in the spirit of transparency naman it's it's still there I, I'm ano, I, 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 as much as I love linking it pero syempre I, I am pained eh. as we speak it's already my fifth take nitong uh, buong vlog na to with this segment at hand and it it's taking a while Pero I'll, I should have the courage to do so kasi one, there's still stories that I would love to tell and two, uh, there are things that need closure. This one needs closure. I need closure for this. So that was the second time I think I said that. No? Pero yeah, uh, moving forward, we already had a reunion with the technical ed, si Al. He's the one I told na we're going to stop operations, shut down na tayo. And you know, that was a few moments after that, we've arrived at the post-truth era and it's it's really something, no? Uh, mantakin ninyo, um, there's, there's still a lot of things going on and then there's this polarized uh, social media na kung saan it can be your echo chamber, labasan nyo na sa manang loob, and everybody's releasing their stresses on social media. So, it's not good. And I think if we continued, eh, malamang sa malamang, masiraan ako ng bait. Kasi, I, 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 can't, I, can't take the, I can't take the character anymore. Eh. Kasi we had a, of course, we always have a facade na kung saan, eh, you take the mantle of that tabloid, uh, tabloid if, uh, guy. That's the that's the persona we've embodied. Eh. At alam niya na mga kabaro natin sa online media, yung mga kapwa natin, mga naging kaibigan na natin uh, in the long term. So, really, uh, it again, I think this is the third time I'm saying this. Closure. Everybody has moved on. Ako hindi pa po. I have to be very honest with that. And through this, this this quarantine has kept us at home. We're stuck. There's no uh, there's no public mass events, bas uh, bawal mass gatherings. You know, it's 
I think it's high time to relive some of the memories, the good memories that Deremoy has had since its inception in 2010. Around April 2010 yata yun, you know. Really, I'm pretty much embarrassed so much that I do not want to look at the camera, pero I'll, I'll have the courage to do so. So, yeah, people, friends, we're going to relive some of the memories that Deremoy has recorded in its five years of activity. Rather, three years of activity kasi uh, we only have three years worth of content sa YouTube natin, ano? And uh, those were really interesting times. Yun yung mga times na I still have the confidence to share stories. I still have the the guts to be brave, be, you know, yung, 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 Ay, nailalabas mo pa yung tapang mo eh. We had this, yun nga, we had this tabloidy person. It's, it's like, it's like, it's like we embodied the, uh, what the blogger now has been eh. I don't know. Am, am I making up my words? <laughs> really. It's, it's quite something eh. Mantakin nyo. We, uh, aside from doing the typical uh, anime blogging, the event blogging, the cosplay blogging we did some uh, it 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 took a while uh, there are some beliefs na pinanindigan namin and i believe that's where we get the people meet the people who will be with us and who uh, some of them are still with us until now and at the same time we put up concepts na possible naman uh, one project that we had is this thing called the events chart, rather, no? Because there's this Otaku events aggregator, si Augusto Revelo, yan. And then, uh, we built our custom uh, uh, events directory, our curated events directory. And, siguro, that is the predecessor for the events directory that what we have now on uh, sites uh, on some websites and uh, not just me but there's Otaku Cosplay PH he has his own uh, directory of events and my PH has his own grand directory of events and yun nga lang events in 2020 are online only so lahat ng activities online of course uh, maraming ganap there's some events abroad in the US so magpupuyatan ka moving back why am i doing this again recap tayo one there's stories that are still needed to be shared and shared over and over again these are rare moments ito yung cosplay community way back so yung mga 2010s of course eh wala pa kami masyadong record niyan i think i think i do but yeah, 2013, there, there's a lot of uh, treasure trove in 2013. And uh, while it's already part of the Deremoy archive, which you can see on YouTube as well, uh, I'll be cherry-picking from those moments and I'll be sharing to you the stories behind these things. Siyempre naman, uh, hindi ko alam kung papareteiro na ako sa industry yung ito. I don't know. Ewan ko. I guess I'll continue. Like, really. Pero... Uh, it's it's been a while since I've opened up something like this eh. again closure that's the second part and third quarantine tayo ngayon quarantine talaga tayo ngayon it's there's still a queue so kahit GCQ ECQ MECQ MGCQ pa yan quarantine pa rin because there's queue in it and hindi matatapos ng quarantine na to until there's a vaccine already pero it will take long it will take long and I trust that it will take longer than usual uh, maybe 2021 i hope not pero expecting expecting the worst so yeah the story of the remote as an anime blog started in 2010 and we've seen many things we've seen uh the rise of the international simo league there's the anime blog tourney and then there's this Papagiba ko sa tito ko yung SMX issue ano. I don't I don't know if people have forgotten that ano. And really, uh, there are 
quite a few things na hindi ko makakalimutan. Uh, on the last few days of the Remoy, it was actually featured as a parang it was quoted in a promotion for a manga in the West. Uh, I forgot the title eh, pero it's Al who wrote it. Uh, definitely, it's something. So, yeah, uh, at least there's still footprints in the sand and yung mga footprints na yon, that's what we're going to focus on the next set of videos coming this September and until the rest of the year. Uh, simply because there's no too good memory, no too good keepsake not to be shared. And this is the reason why this online journal that I have is called Keepsakes. Really. I hope I hope this take really goes well and no kasi um, again I'm I'm embarrassed to a point I'm embarrassed to a fault Tama pa ba yung sinasabi ko mga ganun but trust I trust in my heart na while people will remember our mistakes they will also not forget our successes All right so here's another VTuber recap na again holo live tong mga balitang ito, Mano Aloe, Shishirobotan, o Marupolka, Silami, and I forgot yung isa. Yeah? <laughs> Whenever Hololive releases another generation, may isa akong nakakalimutan. May isang, ano, there's there's uh, there's that odd one out thing when it comes to Hololive releasing a generation, another generation of five virtual YouTubers. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's talk about uh, Shishiro Botan, ano? Botan, I'm, 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 well, I'm a botanist. I'm a botanist now. Uh, Auto-subscribe, syempre. Kasama tayo sa 100,000 subscribers ni Botan. Even before she has debuted. 100,000 subscribers. Walang ginagawa. Just because you're the Adidas Lion. Really now. Really. Fantastic. Uh, there's also Mano Aloe. Uh, she'll be uh, reappearing again after two weeks. But yeah, she 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 uh, before her debut sa Holo Live fifth gen, she did something parang why did you do this? But at the same time, you can't blame her for doing so. Just before she entered a. Uh, she enters the corporate world as a corporate talent of a corporate institution, uh, which is Cover Corp, Holo Life Production. No? It's corporate, mind you. Hindi yan independent, hindi yan para mala indie, corporate pa rin yan. Eh, well, yun nga, yung parang restrictions and Holo Life, Yagos Idol Dream, etc. etc. You know, you can't, you can't, they can't blame Aloe. To say something like that, because it's happening in idol culture, eh. and the idol culture in Japan is just really it's 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 really cultured in a way that as much as you would love your idol, if the idol doesn't love you back, of course, mani mani nindiga paren mani nindiga ka paren na you love your idol, and to some extent, eh, you 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 will force the idol to love you, which is. Well, that doesn't that happen in idol culture? So yeah, the ano ang ang kaso dun is that she, in her former persona, as far as I understood, is she recorded a rant against perhaps the industry, the culture, the fans, and she forgot to um, she forgot to delete it, ano, prior to her debut and. Nowadays, ang um, mga generations ng Holo Live are easily traceable na their voice, their appearance, kung sino mga nag-retire na. Um, but we won't get to that point. Ano. Hindi tayo nandito para mandox ng tao or kahit ng VTuber. Excuse me while I drink. Ekis tayo dyan sa mga nang dodox and... Yeah, as much as possible. Kung ano man makuha kong info, I'll keep it to myself. Because, you know, uh, there are uh, these things uh, when you talk about VTubers. I go, I, I will go turn 180 ano, and say na parang 
this isn't even right. Of course, uh, binanggit ko yung kaso ni Aloe, eh, uh, in which hindi na dapat binabanggit yun, pero ang tanga ko pa rin, I still did it. So, yeah. As, as much as ano, of course, uh, hindi mo pa rin may iwasan na para mapuno, mapuno na ang salop, etc., etc. So, nakakapagod rin minsan mag, manood sa Hololive if that's the case. We're still not done yet with Okami Miyu, which has just celebrated her birthday on Twitter. So, maybe expect natin na there will be VTubers who will utilize the power of Periscope and Twitter Live or what it to stream on Twitter. And I think that's the next development. Hindi na tawag dyan is VTubers because VTubers is stuck with the YouTube name and all that. Hindi Virtual characters, we can call it Vicara and uh, they, they can just go stream on Periscope, on Twitter, they can make vines, Fubuki makes, makes her own TikToks on YouTube. Okay, so there's another in the list, bago ako mag off tangent. Okay, one funny clown in the name of Omaru Polka. So, inisip ko dati, Omaru, 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 Omaru. Ah, mahilig ko sa snacks. So, Omaru Polka is one of the funniest in the fifth gen, if not the funniest. Imagine holding your 3 days anniversary and pretending that you have super chat even if there's no super chat in you. Super chat? Na hindi pa nga enable ng super chat. We can... <laughs> I, hindi pa bukas yung super chat ni Polka yung 3 days anniversary there's a bunch of people commenting super chat already no she's just a clown we are the circus <laughs> and that's why i'm really laughing out loud kay Polka i hope she stays funny there's still the podcast every Mondays at 9 a.m. every two weeks. That's Manila time on anchor.fm slash keepsakes, Spotify, or wherever you listen to. With that said, my name is Jay. This is Keepsakes. And please do subscribe to our channel. Again, Flashback Friday style featuring the best of the best of the cosplay community way back then on, in our lens. 